Hey everybody, uh, it's um, early Monday afternoon. Uh, nice day, gorgeous day for uh, Midwest here in uh, late September. It's um, probably in the upper 60s, maybe maybe lower 70s, I don't know, but it's somewhere around there. Uh, just a really nice day, sunny day. Uh, in the sun, it's, it's really warm. Um, sun's putting out some heat, but it's not humid, so it's just a just a great day. So perfect day for an Oktoberfest. So I'm going to do another one from uh, Sierra Nevada's uh, Fall Sampler Pack. I'm going to do their Oktoberfest. Um, it's a nice, pretty nice sampler pack. Um, I've already done the tumbler, the Vienna Lager, and uh, I still got to do the Pale Ale. I'm surprised I never have reviewed that, so... I'll get that in sometime uh, here in the near future, but uh, anyway, uh, from the website, it says, Our take on the classic Malty Festival beer. Germany's Oktoberfest celebrated a royal marriage in the health of the fall harvest, which in Bavaria means brewers, barley, and hops. Today, Oktoberfest is considered one of the world's greatest parties. In honor of that rollicking bash, we bring you our version of the classic festival beer. Oktoberfest is a Medium bot is medium bodied and rich with bready and toffee like malt flavor but maintains a crisp finish marked by floral and spicy hops. Um, it's a 6.2% ABV, uh, 34 IBUs. Um, I have had a couple of these and because uh, there's uh, three of each and uh, each of the four in the sampler pack so let me get it in the glass and see what we have. A little bit of hiss, no, no real smoke. Just fits, just fits in the glass. We got a nice, um, it's almost ruby colored uh, body. Got a oh finger and a half of a like a creamy uh, creamy tan head uh, almost khaki colored maybe but just a really nice Oktoberfest beer under, un, unlike that uh, Vine of Stefaner I did uh, I last did uh, that one I, I'm not sure what that one is but this looks more like the uh, traditional uh, Oktoberfest that um, you're used to so let's get a nose on it Okay, uh, getting some mild uh, caramel notes, some uh, like a little nuttiness from the from the toasted malts. Uh, malts are really coming through. There's a slight um, hot profile that's maybe just a slightly bit bitter and uh, edgier than your usual Oktoberfest beer, but it's primarily your grainy, uh, malty, uh, bready notes. Um, might be a bit of uh, a light chocolate in there, but uh, it starts out um, uh, with a bit of sweet malt, and uh, that's predominant on the flavor. Um, some, some toasted barley, maybe some molasses. Um, just a really nice, uh, nice smelling beer. It seems to be a slightly more than a moderate amount of carbonation streaming up. There seems to be a good deal of carbonation streaming up, so. Let's get a taste on it. Okay, uh, you're getting that um, sugary uh, caramel note, uh, just a slight uh, nuttiness to it. Um, again, those herbal hops. Uh, you're definitely not getting any of those um, West Coast um, citrus hops. It's herbal and uh, floral and grassy hops. That, uh, that you uh, that you expect in a, in an Oktoberfest beer, um, just a slight bitterness on the finish, but um, the malt, yeah, it gives you the caramel and toffee flavor. There's a just before the finish, there's almost a slight uh, buttery taste, uh, and then it, you get kind of a moderately uh, bitter finish, uh, fairly clean uh, finish. But primarily, yeah, your toast, toasted malts, your nuttiness, and uh, 
maybe some, like I said, earthy, uh, leafy, floral hops, uh, medium bodied mouthfeel, uh, pretty smooth uh, drinking, uh, the carbonation, uh, despite what, see, it's, the bubbles are rising slow, but um, seems pretty uh, easy going carbonation, so let me sit, and I will sit and sip on this a while, and I'll come back in a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's uh, It hasn't been that long. Uh, no sooner than I finished, and uh, here come the mowers. Uh, they're Fortunately, they're mowing across the, across the road by, right now, but it, it won't be long before they get here. But, um, yeah, this is it. So it hadn't warmed up a ton. Um, not a lot has changed, but uh, this is a really nice, you know, overall it's pretty nice, clean, uh, tasty, uh, uh, example of the style uh, uh, it's uh, maybe a little bit different than the uh, than your uh, what you call a normal Oktoberfest but because uh, a little more a little more hoppy bitterness than, than you're used to in a in a traditional style but uh, it's still a, a tasty beer it's uh, it's worth a try it's it's simple but it's well you know like like any Oktoberfest is but it's it's well made, um, you know, like like most Sierra Nevada brews. Um, I think I enjoy some of the regular beers a little bit more, but it's a nice change of pace for for the fall. Um, uh, it's still, you know, it's safe, but it's still got uh, a little more flavor and body to it than uh, than many others. So I'm going to give the Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest. Available now in their uh, their fall sampler pack. I'm going to give it a good solid, um, good solid uh, 8.5 out of 10. A decent, easy drinking drinkable beer. Uh, if you see it, I'd recommend picking up that sampler pack. There's some decent beers in there. So uh, 8.5 out of 10. So until next time, everybody. Cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.